Greetings Junior Ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new song tutorial. Today I'd like to teach you a favorite of mine called Little Liza Jane, or in some circles they just call it Liza Jane. It's an old American folk song from the South, and it has some great lyrics in it. I'd like to talk about those first, before we talk about the ukulele playing on it. Let's talk about the song itself and its lyrics. So it starts with, I've got a friend in Baltimore, Little Liza Jane. Streetcars running by her door, little Liza Jane. And then that does the chorus, which every time the chorus is the same. Old little Liza, little Liza Jane. Old little Liza, little Liza Jane. So it's a kind of easy si song to sing. It really doesn't have uh, complicated lyrics, especially that chorus. That's incredibly easy to memorize. Um, so Baltimore, that's the capital of Maryland, and that is down south of here in Maine. It's uh, even south of New York City. But Baltimore is the first city that they talk about, and the thing about Baltimore is streetcars that they talk about. Streetcars running by her door. So those are kind of like trolley cars, if you've ever seen a trolley car. Streetcar is another name for that. And then the next verse has, I got a friend in San Antone, tumbleweeds and cactus grow. San Antone being in Texas, way out in um, kind of the deserty, dusty part of Texas, where they actually have tumbleweeds and cactus. And then they have, I've got a friend in Providence, little Liza Jane, bluebirds sitting on the fence. So in Providence, Rhode Island, obviously, they have bluebirds. So those are really beautiful. If you've ever seen a bluebird or a picture of a bluebird, you know those are uh, some of the most beautiful birds. There's another verse that goes, i got a friend in Chicago, little Liza Jane, walk and feel the cold winds blow. Well, I have a brother that lives in Chicago, and indeed he's told me that the winds can get really cold there. It's a windy city. They call it the Windy City, but also um, it's near the Great Lakes, and so the Great Lakes, you know, um, when the wind blows off of those, it's a special kind of cold, I've heard. I've never been up there myself, but I know plenty of people that uh, were born in that area or currently live in that area, and they say that those winds, man, they're freezing cold, even colder than maybe some of the, the winds we feel here in Maine sometimes. And then you can have all kinds of other verses in there. This is a folk song, and so the words get changed around depending on the singer and who's doing it. But another verse is about um, Tokyo. I've got a friend in Tokyo, little Liza Jane. And then they talk about ume plums. It's where the ume plums grow. These are plum trees in Japan that uh, when they flower, they're just beautiful. Like they have cherry blossoms there. They also have plum blossoms. And so the plum trees, the ume, that's the Japanese word for plum, when those blossoms, beautiful. So that verse is about Tokyo. And then there can be other verses about various cities. But you kind of get the idea that first we talk about a city, and then we talk about something in that city. Like Baltimore has streetcars, San Antonio has tumbleweeds and cactus. Uh, Tokyo has ume plums, and so it's a great um, song for learning about other places uh, besides where you happen to live. Or maybe you happen to live in one of those places. Maybe you're watching this and you're in Baltimore, or you're in Tokyo, or you're in San Antonio, Texas, or you're somewhere like that. So it's um, a nice kind of like geographic song. It's a song about places, about geography, and about uh, great, great cities, you know. Um, maybe you live in the country, maybe you live somewhere where there aren't big buildings and a lot of noise and hustle and bustle and lights and all of that and traffic, but um, cities are really different. I've lived in plenty of big cities and um, now that I live in the country, I realize that they're very two different ways of living. So this song can teach us a lot. This song might seem like just kind of a fun song, but there's a lot of really cool stuff in the lyrics of this song. All right, let's get into the chords and then I'll show you the strum. I like to do this in C because that keeps it easy on the ukulele and easy for little fingers that are still learning um, their first chords. And those two chords are usually our first chords. They happen to be C, which is almost always everybody's first chord, and then G7, which oftentimes is people's second chord. So C and G7. And there's that special trick that I've taught you in the past that 
gets you from C to G7 so much easier, and that's where you take your C chord with your third finger, and you drag that third finger from the third fret back to the second fret without leaving the string. And then if you just plop your other two fingers down to make that G7, it's a lot easier. You don't have to lift all your fingers and do extra work. You just smoothly go from C to G7 without so much work. You don't have to break a sweat. And then when you go from G7 back to C, do the opposite. Sl take your first two fingers off and then slide that third finger back up to C. So that should make for a pretty easy and a pretty smooth chord change if you do it right. Just kind of gliding in and out of those chords like that. Might take a little practice, but if you keep at it and you work on your C to G7 chord changing trick, you're going to become an expert in no time at those two chords. All right, for a strum, an excellent strum is down, down, up like this. And we can do it slow. Let's start the song really slow so you have a chance to learn this strum and get used to those chords. So down, down, up. Here we go. I've got a friend in Baltimore, little Eliza Jane. Street cars running by her door, little Eliza Jane. Whoa, little Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Learning songs is so much easier when you play them nice and slow like that. Your fingers have all the time in the world to get from chord to chord. You have all the time in the world to think about the lyrics. You get the strum going kind of easily. But then when you're ready, you want to speed up. When you have learned it well and you're ready to go faster, then we would go faster. But we keep everything the same. It just happens faster. The down, down, up all of a sudden becomes... It almost starts to sound like country music a little bit, but... It or folk music, they're related. I got a friend in Baltimore, little Eliza Jane. Street cars running by her toe, little Eliza Jane. Oh, little Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Oh, little Eliza, little Eliza Jane. So eventually you'll be ready to do it fast. Um, where the chords change, we know we have C and G7, but I have yet to explain to you where we change. So you probably saw what I just did then, but now I'm going to do it real slow so you can see everything. So we have, I've got a friend in Baltimore, and that's on C, little Eliza Jane. It's on the word Jane at the end of that line. That's where we hit our G7 chord. But then we go back to C for street cars running by her door and then on the word little little liza jane so on little we have g7 we keep it for liza but then on jane we go back to c so here's that second line street cars running by her door little liza jane and notice how now I'm not even doing the down, down, up strum. I'm just using my thumb doing a single strum. I'm just going one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it makes it very easy to not only count to do one, two, three, four, but to see exactly where the chords are, exactly how long each chord is for, and where to change chords. Sometimes it's good to simplify things, to get all the hard stuff and the complicated stuff out of there, and just make it very simple and easy. And that's um, how I like to learn music, and that's how, obviously, I like to teach music, to keep it simple. All right, let's do another verse, just to make sure we've got it, and then we'll try a couple verses together. We'll do a little jam session on this. Right, so the next verse, the San Anton verse. San Antonio is just a short way of saying San Antonio. That's the full name of the town, San Antonio. But they say San Antonio. All right, so we have, I've got a friend in San Antonio, little Liza Jane. Tumbleweeds and cactus grow, little Liza Jane. See that? 
right on little Liza Jane goes right with the lyrics all right now that we kind of get an idea of the whole thing the big picture of the song let's do a couple verses let's you and I sing together the first verse the Baltimore verse and let's sing the second verse the San Antonio verse here we go I'll count four one two one two three four I've got a friend in Baltimore little Liza Jane Junior Ukuleleans, Liza Jane, one of my favorites. It's uh, especially good when you listen to Elizabeth Mitchell singing it. She's a children's music artist, a great children's music artist, and she also collects folk songs. She works for the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., and does a lot of work gathering together folk songs and getting them written down and recorded, and she's great. So I'm going to put a link down below to Elizabeth Mitchell singing this song so you can enjoy that and sing along with her and really enjoy it. Um, I hope you get a lot from this song, and like I said, it's one of my favorites. Hopefully it's one of your favorites too. Okay, Junior Ukuleleans, you take care, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.